Well, I was locked up a long time and I navigated me through, you know, the things that I needed to know. Uh, the Bank Frost Program, the Miles of Freedom Program, what he can do. He taught me everything, you know, that I need to get back to to reestablish my life. And it's been very great. It's been, it's, it's been a blessing. Get a sense of what the political climate has been in a time when our people, minorities in general, including black people, are struggling to find their footing in this and, and claim their identity, you know, with police brutality continues and our partnership with Miles of Freedom and the work that Richard Miles has done was sort of a nice way to come and say you know what there is humanity in spite of all this. Uh, police brutality, excessive force, issues with making sure that everybody has a fair right uh, when it comes to every opportunity. Um, when I came about this, this concept, uh, Mr. Miles, uh, it really resonated with me. It resonated with, with the theme that is a theme that was the birth and part of this event bring awareness and raise funds for Miles of Freedom. So first and foremost, thank you uh, to Ms. Bouquet uh, for hosting this awesome event. I mean, secondly, yeah, it's to bring awareness um, because it is, it, this is a narrative that's really been uh, misrepresented. And I think that we are the ones that can really vocalize the issues of people coming out of prison. And thirdly, yes, it's to raise funds. So Miles of Freedom has classes that work with people coming out to, number one, help them adjust just to the new life and then help them with some of the issues they have like getting social security card having a health checkup and then eventually jobs so the more that we can do to help people be ready to come back into society the better chance we have that they won't end up in a desperate situation and reoffend so miles of freedom was started in 2012 and since then we have, been, we have grown, we have been able to reach into the community. Just this year alone, we were, we've been blessed to raise over $50,000 in grant money. Are we comfortable with the homeless rate increasing that's potentially connected to incarceration? Are we comfortable with us just housing people in prison and not being um, impactful when they come out? Is it just enough that they don't go back to prison? Are we tired of TDC just housing individuals and not rehabilitating them when our tax dollars is the ones that fund them? Did you know that there are 70,000 individuals incarcerated that Texas releases each year? 70,000 people. Out of 70,000 people, 7,000 come to Dallas. When you come out of prison, you're not gonna go to North Dallas. You're gonna go to South Dallas. You're gonna go to West Dallas. You're gonna go to East Dallas. So how far do we think we're gonna get when we have pockets that cannot thrive? An online application, you don't know how to do it by yourself. And somebody needs to sit down and walk with you through that process. 3,050 educational hours to undergraduates and graduate students, volunteer hours done in the offices. Everything that we do, we want to make sure that it impacts our demographics and our demographics is individuals, families, and communities impacted by incarceration.